Hello, how to score in Logic Pro. I'm going to try and do a very quick video as quick as I can going through how to do this and I've tried to break it down into 13 steps. We can get more complicated but if we do these 13 things you should have a fairly decent score. I'm going to go through each bit at a time. Number one, we're going to set up, we save our composition as a score. So this is uh, an example one that we've got here uh, and I've finished it and we've mixed it and we've done everything we need to do in order for it to sound good now we need to make it look good first thing I do file save as and add the word score because we're about to change lots of things but we don't want to change the original okay so that's number one number two change advanced tools to click score so here we are in preferences go to advanced tools the, this box should be ticked and so should this one score that's going to access some more advanced features number three now it starts to get more tricky uh, create regions for entire tracks so this is the way to do it create a yellow zone for the entire thing and with the pencil tool put a region at the beginning oops let's delete that because I don't need it right now so region at the beginning region at the beginning and so on for every track that we're using and at the end as well move that one in a sec now the reason I'm doing this is because I can join up all the regions to make one region um, by clicking here and command J here command J and so on if I don't put the region at the end it will only join up to where your last region finishes right so we've now made our regions. Get rid of any tracks you don't use and replaced, l replace looped regions. Now because I've done the uh, joining all the loops have actually been replaced so we don't have to worry about that but there's some tracks here that for the score I don't need so I don't need the structure track and that's it but Next we're going to join tracks together that have duplicate parts or perhaps uh, if I've got more than one instrument of the same time, same type, I can put them together. So for instance here and here, these are both guitars, so let's put them together. Command J. Uh, bass will keep separate. Ukulele, maybe we'll keep that separate. We've got a whole bunch of guitars here. Now remember, it doesn't matter what it sounds like, it's not about the sounds it's about how it looks. I think we can probably join all of those, that would be great. Uh -huh. uh, then I get rid of the tracks I don't want, so I don't want this, I don't want this, 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 or this. Now, a little thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put drums at the bottom, bass above that, chords, tune at the top. And we've got a very rationalised um, arrangement there. Next is to select all and press command and five. We might have to do this a few times, uh, so if you ever lose your score, <clears throat> just go back to this screen, select all, command and five. This is what your score looks like. Now you need to have page view here, because it might look like this. We want page view, and go to file, page setup, and select landscape view. So file, page setup, this is your landscape. This is going to make uh, you can fit more things on the screen. We're a bit up close here, so let's go over this slider and slide out. Let's have a look. Right, I've got, it looks like, 38 pages. So we're going to have to scale all this down a little bit. Select the right stave for each instrument. Okay, so here is uh, instrument free. We don't know what that is. We're going to name that later. Uh, but it's currently set as a piano and I reckon if I just go down and try and find some things look here we've got some notes in the bass clef and a note in the treble clef let's just make it treble and see what happens 
Mm. Maybe those notes are a bit low, so perhaps we could make that bass instead. Or if it's a guitar, go for guitar. Now, that's that made it, turned it into tab, which is fantastic. That's what we want. Ukulele is treble. Okay, let's keep that. Vintage electric. Let's make that uh, guitar again. So we've got some tab. This is bass. Yep, that's fine. And here, down here are the drums. And we'll need to change that right at the bottom to drums. Now that now gives us slightly more accurate score. This we can tidy up later. Let's look at the next point. Number 10, change the scale view. And 11, change the name of each instrument to long and short names. I'll show you how to do 10 and 11. Up here, we have our instruments that we're looking at. And I'm going to double click here. Oh, yes, not double click. Show, hide, score, set, windows. Here's a really useful button, the scale button. It's at 100%, but I'd like to make it smaller. It would be fantastic if I could fit two um, staves on each page. You don't want to go too small, but just I think that's about right. Now we're going to change these names. So here, the full name, let's call it Guitar Melody. Uh, let's just call that Ukulele. Can never spell ukulele. Oh, it's over there, isn't it? Ukulele. Uh, here is uh, electric e guitar, bass guitar, drums. Over here, we've got a short name for each. So I'm just going to put maybe a, a, a three letter, four letter thing. G U I U. K U G U I B W -S, S D R M and close that. Keep pressing save. Sometimes your score does cause logic to crash because it's not very used to it actually. Right, how many pages have I got? Six pages, is that? Seven pages of score. Not bad going for five minutes' work. Let's see what else we've got. Ah, right, well, now you can add text and performance directions, sections, composition names, your name. You can basically change this now, add little things um, to make it uh, highlight the things that you want to show in your composition. For instance, if there is a, a section A, we might want to put that in. Now, how do we add text? Well, over here in the part box, I have this a here and text and what you need to do is drag it across and just go and give it a name this is Ethan's composition so I'll just call it Ethan's piece not a great name uh, it'd be nice to make that uh, a bit bigger Now you can add so many other things. You can add in um, uh, crescendos if you think that they've got some bits that are getting louder. You can add that in in this um, box here. You can put in uh, tempo marks as well. So if you have a slowdown, oh, that shouldn't be there. Uh, if you can put in the key, if you've worked out what key it's in, you choose simply press this button here and here's all the keys that it could be in. If you slide that in, that'll automatically put in the correct number of sharps or flats, which is a really great time-saving uh, device. And uh, we can put in tempo marks as well. So here's the tempo button, and we can say, well, the tempo here is 120 beats p.m. If the tempo changes, we could put a new one in there. There's lots of things you can add to this, and I don't have time to go through it all now, but I could perhaps work with you individually. Essentially, that's how you make a score. The last thing you do is to go to File, Print, and save it as a PDF, because uh, 
that's how you're going to give it to me. So go to print and hopefully on your computer you'll have PDF here. Save as PDF uh, Ethan piece. And let's just see if we can find that in downloads. Ethan's piece. There it is. Okay, well, good luck with your scoring.